Hi booktube, it's Missy and today I am doing a book review for you guys. Now this look, as you can see, I'm all, I'm all dirty, um, is because I read the 52nd by Della. Now I will be turning the lights back on, but I kind of wanted to give you the same, you know, am ambiance? Ambience? What is it called? I wanted to look like the book before I did my review. So this is the look. I will turn the lights on so that way you can see the book better. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, match the book. So give me a second and I will turn the lights on. All right. I'm, oh, let me. Let me sit down here. Let's, let's do it like that. Okay. I, uh, my hair was very wild uh, before I got in here. And um, it's tamed down a little bit. So let's get started, shall we? This is the book that I received from Della, um, who is the author. And she gave this to me, was it August? maybe I don't know she gave it to me a while ago and wanted me to read this book and give an honest review of it and the anniversary was two days ago which was the 27th of October that's when it came out last year October 27th I did finish this book by the 27th and I did my Goodreads review that day but I wasn't able to film until today because I was really busy this week but I absolutely loved this book. I gave this book four stars and it is about the Aztecs and the Mayans and hundreds of years ago when there was sacrifices and back when Cortez came and like took away all the traditions that the Aztecs and the Mayans, you know, believed in. Um, when he took all that stuff away, the sacrifices went away. And the Aztecs used to sacrifice um, people to appease the gods, which is the underworld gods. And when Cortez came and took their traditions away and like banned that practice, the underworld got really angry and came onto earth and just started killing people. And then not only was the underworld killing people, but Cortez was killing all the Aztecs and the Mayans. There was this huge massacre um, because he wanted power. He wanted to establish power and like take over all of Mexico. So um, the watchers were created to control the underworld from continuing to attack all of these humans. So basically it was the underworld, then the watchers and the celestials that are like the higher up gods. Um, they all came to an agreement that every 52 years, the underworld was allowed to take 52 sacrifices and um, the watchers would make sure that they didn't get greedy. They were able to take the sacrifices and everything was fine and they would do it every 52 years. And for like 300 years, this, you know, happened. It was perfectly fine. Now, the family or the watchers, they're called, well, they call themselves the Castillos. Um, it's a mom and dad and a sister and brother and a brother-in-law. The mother, is a god. The father was a royal Mayan, a human, or was he Aztec? I think the father's Aztec and the mother is a Mayan god. Um, anyways, they get married and they have kids, so their kids are demigods, and when they became the Watchers, um, they became immortal. All of them did because, you know, they have to make sure that the underworld does their job. So, there's an immortal family, and Lucas is the youngest, and he hates this. He hates watching these people be sacrificed. He wants to do away with this practice. He thinks it's, you know, barbaric and terrible. And he learns of a prophecy that one day the 52nd sacrifice 
would change their future. She would be able to keep the contract um, from continuing on. And so that is the premise of the book. So Lucas, the youngest of the Watchers, needs to find this 50-second uh, sacrifice and protector. But he doesn't know when the sacrifice is going to happen. It could be any of the 52 years that comes in the future. And so he's waited like 300 years for this girl and the girl's name is Zara. She is an 18 year old uh, newly graduated, um, I guess it's newly graduate. Uh, she just graduated, she works at a bowling alley and she's got her whole life ahead of her and she doesn't know that she's the 52nd uh, sacrifice and one night um, on her way home she um, gets in an accident and is it an accident no it is the um, the underworld coming to take her away and Lucas needs to stop it so that way she you know lives um, God it was just it was so good I absolutely loved the whole plot line like the whole Aztec Mayan thing, the the sacrifice thing. Um, I loved learning about the um, the culture and what happened back then um, with just the massacre and the blood and the gore and the, just it was so cool. And then the reason why I give it four stars was only because the the romance. Um, I you know I'm not a stickler. When it comes to YA romance, if it's in a, a book like this, like it's not contemporary, so I usually am fine with it, but it's a little cheesy. It's a little cheesy. And that's only because me personally, I roll my eyes at lovey-dovey things. Now, I did, I did enjoy the heated elements where, you know, things got spicy, but I you know, oh, I love you and all that stuff. Like, bleh. Um, <laughs> so yes, I, this is probably a terrible uh, review and you guys know how I do terrible reviews. So yeah, definitely click on the link below for my Goodreads review because my written reviews are so much better. Again, it's a paranormal YA romancy good <laughs> October read. I really did enjoy it and I really appreciate Della for sending this to me. Um, just thank you so so much and um, check it out. Definitely check it out. Uh, that's up. That, but that's it for this book. Um, I don't know what else to say. So, thanks for watching this review, and I hope it was okay. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!